Hi and welcome back to Tier 10 to Prem. This is episode 19 with Mausel AFC. Today's game is the big one in the league, Exmouth. And we've also got Leicester Road in the Build Base FA Vars semi-final. So please do subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to hit that like button. Get notified when we're next up. But also, get those comments in, boys and girls. Let's have plenty of comments. I do enjoy them. It's nice to hear from you. But today, here we are. Today's team for Exmouth. It's the big one. It's Harvey and Goal, Kraski. Keeley, Richards, Riley Lowe. So we can see everybody's eights and nines now, and also a ten for Corey, obviously. Willis, Mitchell in midfield, Bakioko, Toland, Turner, and Goldsworthy. Wells is on a yellow card, one away from uh, getting suspension. Also Warnock, Pickering, Boyd, Boyd, and Burt, and Elwell on the bench. Been doing well of late, plenty of wins, but this is the big one today, and then we'll have a look at where we are in the league. So, one change Keeley in for Wells from the last game. Teams are warming up for the big one. Hill has also been uh, mouthing off again in the <laughs> To the press, it's so funny. Pick off where you let us last carried on from, boys. And let's go. We're at the King George, the fifth ground in Exmouth, and the pitch is looking immaculate, perfect for Mousel's football. Let's see what we can do with it. Kraski, Toland, back to Kraski. It's nodded out wide. Riley Low, ball in. Now. Exmouth on the attack. I'm not sure why. I'm just going to. Those settings seem to have changed ever so slightly since the last game. So the height. I don't know why the camera height has changed. Where was we last time? Yes, that looks more like it. That's better. Goldsworthy, he's through. Oh, and it trickles past. Save from the keeper. Now Turner puts the ball in. We do seem to be a bit far away. I don't know why. That's better. Now Gee. Pumps it forward, and he's onto it. Kraski, what's he going to do? Get a tackle in, my boy. Keeley with the header. Bakayoko. Kraski's just gone bombing up the field, and there he is. He's picked him out. And Bakayoko takes on one, takes on the second. Well, he puts a cross in, and there's Goldsworthy. 78th goal of the season. So we can see he's only scored a couple of goals in the last few games that we've played. And Bakioko beats his man, puts the ball back, perfect. And the keeper sort of falls over. <laughs> oh, yes. Got new glasses, just getting used to them really. Sort of uh, fiddle, 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 but it's just what it is. Oh, and Tolan won the ball and then he's giving it straight back again. Goals where he, he'd be winning them normally. Bakayoko to nobody. Richards comes in with a powerful header. Toland. Back to Willis. Goals where he, nice little nod down. Mitchell. Turner. Just does a little one two with Turner. And no one there to pick up the pieces. Riley low. And it's just it, Turner. <laughs> Turner with the ball over. It's nodded away. The corners are not. I'm not coming off today. I've still got my suit on. 
from the cup final. Got to remember to change that. So, 10 minutes gone. It's Exmouth with the ball. We win it back. Goldsworthy keeper was out of position for a second, but Goldsworthy couldn't capitalise. Ball's over back. No. Kraski. Willis. Lovely football again. And Turner. It's a corner again. It's another corner. Turner, who can he pick out this time? Again. Oh, frustrations. So, Keeley. Short to Richards. Ball through to goals where he takes it on his chest. Willis to Kraski. Back to Willis. Keeley again. Lovely ball to Kraski. Again, takes it on his chest. Absolute cracking control. Toland. Ball over. Turner. 2-0. That's what we want. Thank you. 2-0 up. 20 minutes gone. Hill. I'm sure he's there moaning and groaning like he is in the press. But here we are. Keeper <laughs> was nowhere. Absolutely nowhere. So that puts us 13 points clear. Yes. Get in. That should be title deciding game, I think. I'm not sure how many games are there. Turner, oh, unlucky. Goldsworthy is definitely becoming a bit more provider rather than goal scorer at this present. And it's Exmouth with a chance. And it's Sims. And Sims strikes, but you ain't beating Corey like that. Cracking, just safe hands from Corey. Now. Nothing... What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Get in the play. Corey again just comes out, smothers the ball. And there's nobody behind the goal here. Not sure how many fans we brought today. Goalsworthy. Goalsworthy. We was packing this area in the cup. The keeper saves it. But obviously it wanted this ground. But Exmouth, a bit too far for us to travel maybe. I'm not sure. Bakayoko. Seems to be going the long way around. Willis. To Kraski. Bakayoko to Goldsworthy. Keeper was just nowhere. Just no, oh, he's offside anyway. Oh. Unlucky. No yellow cards for us today so far. Everybody's keeping their heads. Kraski. Bakayoko. Give it straight away. And here he is. Their danger man. Rat, whatever. <laughs> Turner, Toland, Willis, Goldsworthy, Mitchell. Turner, Toland, lovely football again. Riley Low. No, Mitchell, Toland. Oh, and don't get in each other's way. It hit Goldsworthy. Come back to, to Turner. So, 2-0 up half time. How's your team talk, Kevin Hill? We're saying, very happy, get on with it, boys. Okay. Second half. Starts with Exmouth on the ball. And Kraski should have made that. Didn't make us pay, though, thankfully. I thought for a minute that Kraski missing that ball was going to be all-important start for them. But... Seven minutes gone in this half. We've weathered the storm. And Goldsworthy beats him for pace. And Goldsworthy scores his 79th goal of the season. And the, there with the uh, bowing down. Well done. Goldsworthy went past one, went past two. And just put it past the keeper before he even had a chance to move. No wonder he's got his hands in the air. 3-0. Bakayoko, fitness levels are dropped. And there he is, Bakayoko. Plays it long, gives it away, and he's in. Corey, what a save, man. 
but he was offside anyway. We'll see this highlight out and we will make some changes. Willis has got a yellow as well. Tolan pass one. Lovely ball into Bakayoko. That's enough of that highlight. We need to make some changes. Bertie's coming on. Let's give him a few last bit of hurrahs before we have to make some changes next season, I do think. It's uh, getting to that stage where we do need to start looking at some younger legs in that midfield. Maybe even pull Kieran Tolan back and bring in a youngster. Or go 4-4-2 maybe, Pickering up top. What do you think in the comments? You know, Toby Pickering, again, he's not got on today. But he is an awesome player. He is an awesome player. He's He's got a lot of potential for us. Only 17 years old. And Richards again with a cracking header. I'm sure at some stage as well we're going to have a bit of trouble with Wells, who's just not getting a look in at the moment with... Um, Riley low out there because he's definitely a better fullback but he's a cracking centre half but he just hasn't got the height that's the problem just hasn't got the height now Riley Lowe's picked up a card says deserved his yellow and Burt with the ball through <laughs> he can certainly strike the ball like I said in the previous game he just can't run just can't move anywhere now now it's Keeley too many long balls at the moment Riley Lowe what is that I don't know what's gone on with the, with our instructions and stuff but they just seem to be rooting it around and Corey pulls off a save 3-0 with 10 minutes to go we don't want to give him any sniff so 13 points clear today. And where are we gone now? Look, we're all at sea. And the red-headed lad, Henderson, he's got the ball back again and he's put it over. And Corey, what a save! <sighs> Corey, Corey, that is quality. And he's on a 7.6 and so he should be. He's pulled off two or three cracking saves here today. Now Henderson again is so much space. Liam Henderson. Mmm. So McShane put the ball to Henderson. There was no one around him. Are they playing a free mid free man midfield? Isolating R two. Maybe. Now what's happened here? The league table was taken over our formations no look see they're playing 4-2-4 so I don't understand why he's having so much space in there obviously the league table changed because we had that cup game I guess and goals where he doesn't make it and we're making this a, a lot harder this second half than what it should be and Riley Lowe Jude Boyd, Goldsworthy, Turner. Goes past one. There's Josh Boyd. Give it to Kraski. And Kraski's in. And Kraski puts the ball across. Tolan to Goldsworthy. There's the hat trick. Great stuff. 80th goal of the season. Could he be 20 odd goals in his last few games of the season? We've got a lot of lower league sides. That was some ball from Tolan. And that's why I'm thinking, do we really want to put him back? Because he is such a great man from in behind. He's just, the amount of assists he has. See, Henderson again. This, this lad, Henderson. And Parry puts it wide. The fitness levels are all over the place. Look, my goodness, how we can move. There's been so much football. And there we are. A 9.4 for Hattrick Man Goldsworthy. 
So we're happy with what we played. Yes, we are indeed. And next, we've got the Vars. Let's see, nobody was injured, were they? No. So we're on to the Vars game next. Let's see what we can do in that. So here we are back for the game against Leicester. What are they called? Hang on a minute. Sorry, Leicester Road. It's a bit of a strange one, but and it'll be the same starting eleven as the previous game. Fitness levels are okay. Tolan's the only one we've got to watch. All the ones on the bench are all fine as well. So let's get straight into it. No changes, as it said. Same team again. And this is the semi-final. Carry on again, boys. That's what we like. Semi-finals on TV. Sports Interactive TV. And here we are. And they're going to play a 4-1-2-3. Dougie Keast is their manager. <laughs> and this is home at Trungle Park as well, semi-final. Bit of a strange one, but uh, we'll go with that. So goals were the... That's better. Levels are all there, everything's fine. Toland chips it in. Oh, hits the post. Richards with a header. Just a nice little looping ball in. But unfortunately, not enough. So 10 minutes gone. XG of 0.44 for Mousel. Nothing for Leicester. Does sound strange saying Leicester. I keep thinking of Leicester City. And Richards again with the header. And he's put it wide. Now Leicester got the ball. Riley Low. Turner. He's in. And he shoots. It's the post. It's not going to be another one of these cup games, surely. Oh, goodness, I can't have another one like this. We've already had one. Extra time and penalties. Willis with the ball, and it's in this time. 81st goal of the season for Goldsworthy. So again, we've had a few games and Goldsworthy's not scored any goals. But he's been providing a few. And there we are. 1-0 up, 22 minutes. That's what we need. Need some more of them. 1-0. Richards comes through. Turner. Bakayoko, no, didn't get to it. Amara does seem to be quiet last few games as well. He's another one who's uh, not been playing himself, as he usually would do. And there's Goldsworthy again. You wonder why he's not been scoring the last few games. <laughs> and he's just smashed in too. Oh, Unbelievable. Fans are all here. And there's Goldsworthy. Just dinks it to the right and then pushes it back across the other side of the keeper. 2-0. Now Toland. Little dinking again. Turner. Oh, Goldsworthy's over the top this time. I don't know why the latest information has not changed. Still saying one there. A bit like Sky Sports. Bit behind. Riley Lowe, Goldsworthy, he's latched onto it. And he's beaten the man. He's past one. And he's bearing down. And he's giving it to Turner. Puts it against the legs. Riley Lowe. And Goldsworthy. He's got a hat trick inside 37 minutes. I'm not sure exactly what he did. Let's have a little look here. So he. There he is in the middle. Ball comes over. So he shot, hit the defender, come back, straight to him, and in the back of the net. Hat-trick hero, it says. And that is correct. And there is Bakayoko with the simplest of goals. Turner, what a cross that was. 4-0. It's Turner to Toland, and he just, Turner just put it over. And just side puts it in the back of the net. You're not going to get much of a simpler goal than that today. 
Keeley, to Kraski, Toland, Bakayoko, Kraski again, ball comes over, Turner, over the bar, and this is a semi-final of the cup, and we are absolutely battering them, Turner again, Keeley, over the bar, they've not even got an XG yet, look, they've not had a shot, they've not had anything in that first half, and they're saying we lost lots of possession, we've got lots of thumbs down, but I'm not seeing it. There's not been a shot or anything. Um, yeah. I would say I'm not just pleased, I'm absolutely delighted. So, Durant puts it forward. Holes. They've got a bit of possession to start of this half. Are they actually going to put an XG on? I've never had a game where the team has had no XG at all. And especially in the semi-final of the FA Vars. That would be absolutely unbelievable. Let's see what we can do here. 47 gone. Are they going to finally... No. It's a shot. They've got an XG. XG of 0 0.06. That's that little dream gone. Let's make some changes. McCulloch, McKee, and they've scored. It's been disallowed, thank goodness for that. Here I was thinking, are they gonna get back into this? But it's been disallowed. You could see when they nodded, he was well off. Let's skip that. See this highlight and make some changes. Levels are starting to go again. Fitness, you know, is a massive issue in this league. And Corey Harvey again. And Richards brings it out and just gives it straight away. We're certainly making it hard work again today. And Keeley has slid in, which looked like a cracking challenge and given away a penalty. And Kirk has given them a lifeline on 58 minutes. And he has charged off up the pitch with the ball. Oh, Corey, it must have been so close to saving that. Right. As we can see, we need to make some changes. It will be a 4-2-4. And on comes Pickering. And he will go as poacher, that's right. Riley Lowe. On that yellow, we don't want to have no more mistakes. Who else is there? Talon Mitchell, complacent. He's one of the fitter ones, so we can't really take him off. Um, don't really want to put Warnock's right back. He can play there, but having a good game. We'll keep one in the bag. That's the idea. So four-one few minutes since their goal we've had 20 efforts and it's free on free and and he's just running all the way through and he's just run all the way through I, pff, blown away I, I, yeah I don't know what to say he just ran from his own half and just slots it away like that. Just apps on flabbergasted. Absolutely flabbergasted by that. What on earth was going on then? So it's now four two. In a game where they had no they were punch drunk first half. There was nothing going on at all. And we're now four two with twenty five to go. And it could go either way, who knows? But there's Pickering, Bakayoko, Willis Goldsworthy, yes, 84th goal of the season for Mark Goldsworthy, and that surely seals the deal, Bakayoko to Willis, another assist from Willis, and Willis is developing into a good little footballer, 
And my goodness. At 4-2, you're thinking, what could go wrong next? Now, we'll take off Turner. And on will come Jude Boyd. Fresh legs over on that side. Thanks, uh, Jake. Already done it, mate. <laughs> He's already on. Cracking. Right. If they score another one here. What a save from Corey. What a save. Now, 20 to go still. Anything could happen in this game. We've seen a relatively non-plussed half from Leicester and and second half they're on fire and here's an up great challenge great challenge by Kraski now corner comes over the far post and it goes wide high and wide now Wells long throw long throw straight to keeper's hands if you're gonna do a long throw do it right. Oh, frustrating. And again, that was Kraski, was it? Kraski again with a block. I'm not sure what he's on at the moment. Only a 6.8. He's had two cracking blocks lately. Now Wells, who's also got a yellow card now. And Pickering's in. And Pickering puts it wide. Now I've knocked my mic, getting all excited. <laughs> I thought Pickering had scored. Oh, goodness me. Now my mic's all over the place. Hopefully that's sorted that out. Wells, Jude Boyd, Mitchell. To Jude Boyd again. Mitchell. A bit of keep ball. Willis to Goldsworthy. And Goldsworthy's there. For his 85th goal and 5th goal in this game. The boy can score goals. That is for sure. Rode the challenge. Kept the ball. And then slots it past the keeper. 6-2. 5 goals in a game. I was going to say 6 goals in a game then. He's had 7 before. My word, he certainly can score goals. And it's a 10 out of 10 performance for Mark Goldsworthy. Absolutely delighted. We've got to break the suit out again, boys. <laughs> oh, this team certainly do like me getting that suit out. I don't know what you all think. We've had it a few times now. So... We will be back. It was an unknown final. We don't even know who we got yet. So who is actually still in it? Well, it says go. So hang on. Let's just let's click on a minute. Book a place in the final. Five and a half grand for that one. Goals will be on form. Yes, I don't know why it didn't come up straight away. But we have Ghoul in the final of the FA Vars. So, looking at the schedule, we will come back for that final. And then we will do the last two games of the season as we pick up the trophy. Now... If you've enjoyed that, please do subscribe to the channel and also hit that like button. But one of the things we want, get notified. Let's get subscribed, get likes in, get comments in. Please help out the channel. Catch you in the next one.